Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another brand new video. I just wanted to go ahead and do a video on War Age for today. Um, I just kind of want to chill a little bit. We're going to just do some stuff. There's a couple of events on right now, even, uh, due to Golden Week being a thing. So there's a lot of benefits to get off of just logging in, even. Uh, like these chests, I believe, are Golden Day type things. And you also get, like, currently inside the events. I actually don't know. I don't remember which one. This is events, right. This is what I have to click. Um, you can see that there's a lot of doubled stuff. Uh, if I go ahead and go... So here you get coins to be able to trade in for uh, different rewards. If I can actually find... Re there, there's the rewards. So you can trade coins for the chests, the keys. You actually get three keys, which is actually a pretty big deal for four. Uh, I went for these universal shards because that's just kind of... That's helpful. To have in the future. Um, I also bought the diamonds because the diamonds were also just really helpful to have because six coins for 200 diamonds is just a good trade. Um, I actually think I might trade for the keys now because honestly I'm kind of lacking in terms of the, these keys quite a bit. I, I can get more of this stuff via just grinding even further. Like these are all double drop stuff on most of the events that are going on right now. I believe it's it's the, the coin event is doubled. Uh, basically all of these, like all of these ones are all doubled completely, which is fantastic for trying to grind out materials that you kind of need for the most part to progress. Uh, for example, at this current point, I have Tsukiyama up to plus two, and he just passed 100,000 power. Uh, additionally, he can't level up until after he gets to 57, so I have to actually put some coffee into him to be able to rank him up again. So right now what I was trying to do is I was trying to focus on Kaneki. Um... He feels worth investing in because his attack's really cool and fast, as well as, like, he's super easy to invest in, and you tend to get a lot of pieces of him anyway. He's already 4-star for me, and, like, I could see him being 5-star pretty soon, to be honest, so I figured it was just worth investing in for the most part. I don't know. It's it's weird to decide, but I, I think it was a good choice for me, personally. Um, additionally, let's go ahead and finish off... Uh, the final little bit that we need to give because it double drops are on right now for main stage quests as well So if I go ahead and do ten sweeps I'll get the materials. I need way faster because you can see I already got like several Amazing amounts of them already. So let's go ahead and rank up. We'll get motto or, or Akira motto up to purple for the first time um, I'm considering what I should do here. Uh Takizawa, I kind of want you on the team. Um, your power seems pretty high, to be honest. Plus, I'm already halfway to ranking you up. It's maybe not right now. Maybe once I get him to four star, then I'll invest in him. But for now, it's probably better just to to go all out on these current levels. Um, crossing my fingers that I end up getting it. Nope. Damn it. Well, hey, we're about less than halfway to getting her up to purple as well. Once we have a team of six purple, we'll be a lot better off, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, I've been investing in this quite a bit, but... Is this worth it? Sure, why not? Because actually, that that works out for me. Um, you... Do you cost... Oh, you do cost challenger coins. Shit. Okay, we'll get you up one tier until I can get more money, at least, because this should be fine. Um, that's good enough for now, as well. Just... Even little power increases are kind of worth it, because it, it gives you just a bit more to work with. And a bit more is all you really need, for the most part, um, to get most levels done. If you're trying to progress in the story, if you hit a, a blockade, typically, you just need to level up, like, a small smidgen to be able to get that extra bonus and get further. Um, we're going to go fight Arima here. And I think this, this, this is going to be a good time. I think this is going to be... A fun party, because I actually don't think we've ever fought Arima on screen as a boss. I believe he's using Exa, so this is about to be wild. Oh, it's lagging really hard. Can I move forward? Now I can. Cool, thank you, game. Oh, they're already starting to fight him. Okay, so he has Narukami and he has Ixa, because that he was shooting with this thing before. God, it is lagging super hard. I don't think I can actually play this like reasonably. I'm gonna put it on auto, because I feel like the, the CPU can do a lot better than I can, at the point where I literally can't press the button sometimes. 
This feels like an MMO, like straight up. This feels like we're we encountered a boss at the end of a raid and we're trying to get them down and do our cycles, but also like we're not afraid of dying, so we just kind of bash our head against him and hope for the best. Which is cool, actually. I will take that. Especially my Sukiyama has taken like no damage so far. And the fact that Akira has poisoning on her second, because uh I'll swap over to her. Her second is like a little potion thing. When she tosses it, it poisons the enemy, so it takes off a lot of health. It tends to be like one of the best ways to do damage to these raid boss guys, from what I've seen, from my own experience. At least when I was playing with them like alone, or Kira seemed to be the one that was doing the most damage. I actually might get this gauge down on him, to be honest. Like with this whole crew, crew. This isn't despicable me. This whole crew of people. I think we can get to 20 at least. Yeah, okay, so we got to 20, and Akira's about to die. Tsukiyama, you're now painfully alone, but that's okay, because around us are all of our friends. Though it seems like we're all getting hit pretty hard by his, his rain of bullets, which for some reason picks us up off the ground. Which actually doesn't make sense, because that means the bullets are like hitting the ground, then like popping up and knocking us up. Weird. But either way, it's, it's not that bad. And honestly, like, so there is a time limit. So Tsukiyama surviving is actually a really bad thing for me. Because that means the second team won't come in and my DPS won't increase with the second try. That's unfortunate. That's that's good to know for the future. I just want to get that single daily done. I'll probably do the rest of them like off screen. Uh, we're going to do one 3v3 now. Uh, I, I, I know we've, we've done a lot of this and probably won't be doing much more of it soon. Uh... Likely this game is going to take a little break for a little while because I don't see us having too much more new to do unless something seriously big drops that we can actually grind for. But for the most part, we've kind of exhausted the main resource of new new content while I'm leveling up for now uh, until I at least hit 60. I'm currently level 58 or 59, and I believe 60 is when you get another new game mode or something where it becomes big hype boys and I can scream. Also, oh god. No one saw that. It's okay. Um, that just happens sometimes with my green screen. Uh, the corner tends to droop, so it just kind of... Oh, god damn it! I'll just jump in when we're in, when we're in the game. Whatever. Go. Go. Ready up. We did it. We're in. Okay, cool. So, hey, I'm gonna play as Gourmet Boy, because he's gonna be the only one I want to play as. Even though, low-key, kind of want to play as Naki. I feel like Naki would be a really good choice for this, but I locked in, unfortunately. It's just because, like, Naki's ability to sweep between different people plus burst damage is just... Bah. We have two 600 Tokas on the enemy team. I think this is the point where I answer the jump cut to when we're already losing the, the match, right? So yeah, I got fucked. Completely. I got completely destroyed in all facets of my life. And I'm not proud of it. I'm not feeling great. We're gonna try again, because I actually wanna play and reasonably so. Also, I am so red right now. I just got out of the shower, so it's understandable. It's probably because like, so I take showers that are hotter than anything in the world and it hurts to be in, but it, it just kind of relaxes me for the most part. I'm gonna play as Naki, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um. So just kind of what I end up doing. It's probably a bad habit to get into, to be honest, but it's okay because I I enjoy it. And you know what? What if this that actually is less red. That's better for now, at least. Uh it's not good. I still look like, like a fucking tomato, but it's okay. Let's Oh, it's the exact same team with now instead of having a 100 Furry girl. Sorry, I, I realize it's a girl now. It's the two tokas again. Well, hey, do you want to see how hard I get destroyed by them? Let's let's show off just how... Fu Did my team just... F okay, they didn't dip out. Cool. I thought they dipped... Oh, they're dead. They're super dead. Oh, look. I'm dead. Cool. Yeah, great. I love this game. Oh, boy. This is... This is wonderful. I totally love this. 
They're tanking the turret. How do you beat that? They can walk in the turret area and just be like, you know what? I don't really care right now, man. I kill the Toka. Get shit on. See, you got you guys have no chance. I am I am the greatest. Excuse me, you cannot you cannot argue with the knock. Hard knock days, as some may say. It's a it's a good joke right there. Um Yeah, no, we are I can't see us doing well considering they already have 30% and we're uh we're at eight. And we just got killed and got killed. Uh, you know what? I'm just I'm not even I'm I'm just I'm tired. I just want to go as, as far as I can. I want to go see I want to go say hi to Kuzen. Can I go back to their Kuzen and like do a little wave cuz I'm not confident in our abilities here. I'm kind of one-shotting us and literally just tanking through the turret and killing it with their ranged attacks. Cuz this is bullshit. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's try again. Let's they're gone. Okay, I could I can kill minions. Hell yeah. I This is the second despicable me vi joke I've made in this video and you know what? That's how it should be. Hey Toka. I'm dead. Wait, why is it so long? Akira? Okay. Sure. Um that looked weird. It's okay. But yeah, that was Maybe I can't play 3v3 because apparently I'm just fucking horrible at everything in the world. That's good to know. Um, I'm not... I'm kind of sad, honestly. W what do these chests give me? I'm curious. They give me something and a bunch of other chests. Cool. I mean, I I'll take it. Uh, this is actually going to be really good rewards because that's a lot of really good items to have. Even that just gave me another chest to use. Holy shit, dude. And I got these red things. I don't know what those are used for. Wait, so can I... I think I can exchange these for exact character pieces. Um, I don't think I actually need to, like, pop them and get whatever character I could want to get. I think I can actually, like... No, there, there was some way, I'm pretty sure, of putting it in... Maybe not characters I don't have already? But maybe on characters I already have, like, uh... I wonder if I could use them on you. I actually don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just wrong. Because I, I, I don't think that's going to be a thing that works. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it. And I got literally the worst character I could have possibly gotten off of it. The ap Apple Mom. God damn it. It's okay, we're getting a lot of really good items. So I realized, these items I'm getting right now, I haven't actually been using. Um, I used them recently, obviously. Uh, first of all, I just want to get a leveling up thing out of the way. Who has the lowest level out of the game? Okay, this, this bowl cut man does. Can I... One level, really? With all this coffee? Okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been leveling up... This. So, this thing right here you can go into each character and give them like dating materials or you can select all of them with this selection tool and free level up all of them equally to get good amounts of gems just in general because doing this gives you gems off of it so it's just worth it to date all of them freely with the materials you have to get just the best rewards you can possibly get off of it Plus the better, the best stats even. So it's worth just selecting all of them and then clicking the the quick button. This is also something I don't actually understand, but it appears to have the weird graveyard that Kaneki ate Rize in, which is strange to me, but it's kind of cool, just as a as a thing. I think it's based on like. So first, I'm gonna upgrade this because that sounds good. But I'm fairly sure, I'm uh, based on my assumptions about the game. I think this is like a bonus thing where you put your your second best team into it and they can give you stat benefits aside from it. So like it's an exploration trial where the stats from the characters are given to the characters you actually use. I'm not sure about it, but 6662 on the top, which by the way is evil, um, 
makes me assume so. I'm not 100% sure though. So don't don't trust the man's the, the man's instincts because obviously my instincts aren't ultra. So I I just don't know things sometimes. Uh we're going to we're going to fucking I don't know, man. I want to do a thing. I don't know what a thing would be. Can can I actually Can I do like this game mode at all? No. Which one was the one? Is it this one? No. I think it's actually this one, but I, I can't do it right now. There's one where you play as, like, the big strong characters and are able to, like, I don't know, just have fun with them. So I kind of wanted to try that on this episode, but... Rip for now, I suppose. Until next time, at least. Oh, I lost and totally got demoted. Damn it. It's okay, though, because I have a few challenger coins... The issue is I spend these coins, like these challenger coins I want to use to get Chiro on my characters. Because you also use challenger coins to be able to level up um, the characters. It's, uh, I think it's this? No, it's this. Yeah, it, it's, it's the rings. It's annoying, certainly, to do. Um, additionally, let's go, let's go roll some dice a little bit. Um... I'm trying to grind out the hair person. I, I don't like calling them that, but I have no idea what their name is. Uh, so I'm trying to do this dice game mode whenever I can, basically. Usually I log into this game like twice per day. Uh, typically it's once in the morning where I end up recording everything and doing that. And then once later at night, closer to around 10 or 11 p.m. When they have the owl. Uh, no, it's the... Uh, maybe it is the owl. It's one of the other bosses. That isn't the one that's on right now. So I guess if it's Rima now, it would be Owl at night. And then I try and just get that done because it gives you a lot of really good rewards if you do it. So, yeah. Just I also do a couple of dailies at night as well. Uh, there's a few that I can't do. In the, I, I can do them in the morning, but I don't really want to. Uh, examples of that is 3v3 and the uh, boss game mode. You just can't do those unless it's the morning and the time is right. Unfortunately, you can do all your dailies though, and you can actually complete them all just in general, but it's not not quite there for me. Additionally, so I've already used 10 of these. Um I can save it, I can just leave it for now. I'm curious, currently, at, at this exact moment. I need to do seven pulls. Let's let's go check something. I'm gonna pull up a calculator right now. Um 180 times seven if i get a hundred more gems i can actually get a character into this episode right now how does a man grind a hundred gems inside a game i don't know uh can i complete any of these to actually get some stuff off of it like will this give me that's 20 gems that's not nearly enough um Hmm. I don't think I have a cheat code to get that many gems. And honestly, I, I don't think there's there's any easy way to do that. Other than just, like, hoping the dailies come back so you can actually do them. That doesn't happen for another, like, hour and a half. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We could save it till tomorrow, but at the same time, it's not as cool as just doing it now. So, hmm... Oh, I can buy two more or five more Coronas. That's cool. That's one more step towards the big cool thing. I wish I knew how to top up, to be honest, because this would be cool to do. Like, I just feel like it would be worth doing for me, because getting Toka just in general is worth it. We've seen what she can do. She is fucking terrifying. Can I beat any of these guys? Is is that a thing I can do? Is it, if I If I get higher on the... On the spectrum, I could potentially get further. Uh, I don't see that happening, though, considering everyone's kind of strong. Um, ridiculously strong, to be honest. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing very much that's not below 427,000. Seems like everyone's closer to, like, 450 to 490. I guess I'm gonna pass on that. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way for me to easily get it. I guess we'll just do that tomorrow. I guess this could be the end of the episode for now, then. I don't really have much I can do. Right? Like, I, I don't think there's much that I can just kind of 
do for now. So, take it easy. I'm going to do a couple more videos today because I just, I feel like it, man. So, I'll see you a little bit later. Take it easy. And I'll see you in the next episode of 4-H.